Hi sisters, it's Jake here, and I'm back with another video. Thank you to all my patrons for sponsoring this video. I have four tiers on Patreon. The first one, you get access to my podcast. The second one, you get your name right here. The third one, you get a personalized monthly video from me. And the fourth one, you get all of those and a signed Polaroid from the camera that I carry around with me every day. As of recent on my TikTok for you page, it's been a little crazy and kooky. I've shown you all my TikTok for you page in the past. And when I show you a guy with no feet eating pizza, it's pretty normal at this point. But usually these people have a couple TikToks that go viral and then they go back to their lives. Today, I'm going to talk about a former pop star who has had a resurgence on TikTok, Madonna. Madonna. You may know Madonna for non-consensually kissing Drake on stage or because she was the original Material Girl. I don't give a fuck about any of that. All I care about is her TikTok content. And I was introduced to it by this coming up on my For You page. We're also going to have to put like copyright free music over this because every single video she makes is a promo for the same shitty song. Let's check it out. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, up, up, pick it back up, Madonna. Jesus. Jesus, come on. Speaking of Jesus, look at her neck. I don't think Jesus would approve of that. <laughs> I don't think any amount of diamond plated crosses around your neck can make up for what you just did. Madonna's in her 60s and she's showing her coochie on TikTok. I also just love this opening shot because you know that Madonna looked at this and was like, am I recording or what? And then she showed her actual Arby's meat mountain. I also think it's funny that at the end she does this thing where like you can tell that she's waiting for the sound to end. She's like, all right, when does it, uh, is it? Uh, Okay, now it's over, and then she goes back to this. After seeing that TikTok, I did a deep dive on Madonna's full account, and I found some goodies. Oh. It looks a little like the girl from The Ring has arthritis down her spine. Oh. There it is. There's that ass we know and love. Show it off, queen. Awesome. Oh, Jesus Christ, what are you doing? Are we really going to watch this and say that Madonna's a talented performer? I don't quite know how to word this, but her face looks like it's made out of candle wax and it's slowly melting. Little pieces of wax have dropped over time. Honestly, she's killing it. Next one, a promotion for Madonna's NFT. Show these pieces to people whose opinion that you admire. Show them to a few people. I would show them. Are they completely weirded out by it? Have you shown these pieces to people that you admire? Such a funny thing to ask. Like, so does anybody like this? Because I think it's cool. And historically, what I think is cool, people think is really strange. So uh, if you could just give me the rundown of what the public thinks, uh, that'd be great. Yeah, I'm I'm not often that robot centipede crawls out of my vagina. Not often that a robot centipede crawls out of my vagina. Madonna, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing with your life? A robot centipede crawls out of your vagina. Madonna, you have children. And you put these children on your TikTok account. I'm not going to show the kids because I feel like that's going too far. Showing someone's kids, I feel like crosses a line even though it's on a public platform. You think that her kids who are also making TikToks on this account, like here's mom, here's sissy. And then it's like, there's a robot in my my puss. Jesus Christ, Madonna, what are you doing? Crawls out of my vagina. The weird thing is you made it happen. I think it's really important that people know that a lot of thought and conversation went into creating these videos. Really? A lot of thought has gone into these videos? Madonna, I doubt that. And also she's like blaming the creator who's a multi-millionaire, richer than Madonna can ever be, blaming him for asking him to make a centipede coming out of her vagina. She's like, you, you're a little pervert. You're creepy. I say, oh, we have a forest with creepy crawly bugs coming out of me. We need an urban burned out post-apocalyptic landscape with this giant tree growing out of me. What a weird promotion. So I want creepy crawly bugs and a tree. And she's like, I worked so hard on this. Shut up. This guy made all this art for you. And you're like, I did everything. Picture of you giving birth. That's your desk. I just, can you see it? Do you like it? I think you were trying to give digital team like an idea. So like, I'm not the only one with my legs open. Mike was too. What? I would love to see other multimillionaires in a birth giving position on social media. Tim Cook, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates. I want to see all of you legs open centipede mid crawl. Now this one's a short one, but she looks really, really good. Madonna, over here. Okay, thank you. 
Ugh, society, am I right? She's like shaking her head. Like, what are you doing? You have fake freckles on, which at your age very well could be age spots. The strangest hair. We've got angel hair pasta coming out of the sides of her head. And then the top just has like really dark roots. I see this and all I think is like, Madonna, please close your giant filled lips. Next one, let's see how hip she can be. Oh my God, holy shit. This is not a human. You're telling me that this is not an alien from another planet. You just can't. I look at this and there's a couple things that I love. We love the crosses, of course, but now there's cross earrings. We love, 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 love the cultural appropriation. I love that even the stylist in the background is like, Jesus Christ. Like nurse, she's doing it again. <laughs> Madonna also makes some relatable content. So let's check that out. It's so horrible when you have something in your throat and you don't know what it is. <coughs> That's what- <laughs> Wait, wait, what? You're posting this? You already looked like a botched brat stall. This filter isn't helping at all. What does she say? It's so horrible when you have something in your throat and you don't know what it is. It's so horrible when you have something in your throat and you don't know what it is. <coughs> Maybe it's this charcoal that you've been licking. That's what they said. No, seriously. God, I hate celebrity culture. I hate when people like try to relate to celebrities. I used to work at SNL as a photographer. I've seen what celebrity assistants do and it's very much like, yeah, isn't that right? Like, shut the fuck up. This guy in the background that goes, yeah, that's what they say. What? That's what they say. No, seriously, it's like some weird like Fur. It's like some sort of fur. This is content? I should make TikToks like this. Honestly, it's kind of crazy like when you smell burning toast and you can't move, like, I don't know. That's what they say. Yeah, it's crazy. I think I'm having a stroke. Now I haven't watched this next one, but it really caught my eye. Madonna really knows how to make a thumbnail. So let's see what she says. I wanna share three quotes from three of my favorite books that I recommend all of you to read. The first is from a book called The Alchemist, and that is that if you want something bad enough, the whole universe will conspire to help you get it. Privilege point of view. You're homeless because you don't want money and housing bad enough. The second is from The Passion, a novel written by Janet Winterson. I cannot watch the rest of this. I've had many surgeries and I've been on many a painkillers. You cannot tell me that Madonna's not on pills right now. This is my favorite quote from all of these books. Madonna, what are you doing? There's Bambi on your cheek. Okay, now this one I do agree with. Cheer up. Things could be worse. You could be me, oh. for instance. Permanently green. Green? Personally, I like the way I look, but there are those that find it hard to appreciate I'm sorry, this might be mean, but are we sure that Madonna has a filter on right now? Is this not what she looked like in the last couple of videos? People and things that are different. Like, I don't think she was green, but the face structure is definitely there. And they try to shame me or <gasps> humiliate me. They try to shame you? Or make me feel less than because I am not like everyone else. Oh, true. To be unique. It's to be rare. You had your chance. You had your chance at stardom. I'm not gonna give you a second chance. You're making TikToks that are of you with a fucking alien filter on. Oh my God, holy shit. Blur those things out. <laughs> oh my God, can I kiss you? Can I... Is this for me? Oh my God, Madonna gave me a kiss. I take all of that back. Madonna, you look on fleek today. You know how people used to say like eyebrows on fleek? For this, this is giving me dead eyes on fleek. Dead behind the eyes on fleek. It's giving corpse, sis, you know? Overall, I love Madonna and everything she stands for. I definitely don't think that there's anything going on behind the scenes, whether it be addiction or excessive filter use. Thank you to all my Patreons. Subscribe to the Patreon if you haven't already. Check out my podcast with Jacob Sharp called All in Our Heads. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe, like, almost at 23,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I will talk to you later.